What up, what up, guys? Tom T here. Hope everybody's doing good. Thought I haven't done a video in a while, so I'd pop on and do a quick pack break. 1986 Topps Rack Pack. I got uh, two sealed three box rack cases of these, and then I had one that I had opened years ago and uh, pulled a few packs out of one of the boxes, and it's still sitting uh, in my PC, so I figured I'd just grab a pack out of there at rando and bust it. Why not? I felt like busting it. It's more fun to do it while I'm on here. I did it video style rather than uh, rather than doing it live just because my live videos come out pretty choppy and until I can get my internet figured out better, and I think I'm better off doing it like this. But I uh, hope everybody's doing good. And uh, let's get busting. Why not? So... See what we get here, and I, I much prefer the older cards. I get into some of the newer breaks, keep a few of the cards. It's fun to do, but I prefer the older stuff, and I got, I got quite a bit of it. I might do an '85 top cello baseball here sometime in the near future. Got a few of those two boxes. Terry Kennedy, Nunez, and Steve Carlton. Hall of Famer there. Pretty nice card. Well centered. I don't see, uh, well, we got a print mark on the H right at the top. You know, you get print marks on these to keep you from getting a 10. You get chips. Sometimes they come right out of the pack with chips. This one, this one is pretty nice, except it's got a little ding right on the picture where you don't know if you can't see. Probably, and then it's got that little print mark on the H. Other than that, it's a pretty nice Steve Carlton card. I've got a few of my Ripken cards in the background here. I'm a big Ripken collector. A few of you guys might know that. I got a Ripken collection, close to 10,000 cards, all the way from 81 to to current. But most of them are 81, 82 to uh, 95, 96, and then I slowed down quite a bit once my kids started getting older and had to shift off. Tommy Lasorda. Always had that gut in the picture. Ed Whitson, Brent Cummings, Al Cowens, Let's play for the Tigers. A couple of years. Deadman, Dave Dravecki. Upside down, backwards. I'm not going to take the time to keep flipping these over. I see ISK and an X, so that probably Carlton Fisk there. Yep. It's Carlton Fisk. Let's see how that one looks. Hall of Famer, that one, uh, turn it in the light here so I can look at it. That one doesn't look too bad except it's off center, left, right. Other than that, it's not too bad, but not perfect, and that's what we want is perfect. That's what I want. Perfect. Bruce Bochy, Kent Herbeck, second year. Again, left, right, off. A decent second year Herbeck though. Sharp, razor sharp, no white. Now well, we got a little bit of white showing over the top. Like I said, they come right out of the pack sometimes with that little bit of white. And I'll put another black one in the background right over the top of the W. You can see that white. So some of these cards are really hard to get uh, to get graded nice because they chip and they chip easy. But uh, like I said, hope everybody's having a good day. Just felt like doing a break. Got bored. And we got Soto right on top. Not the Soto you guys probably know, but uh, he's the Soto I always knew. Mario Soto. S is for Soto. Alright. See what we get here. Milner. Tim Wallach, Dennis Eckersley, Hall of Famer, Cubs, bad centering on that one. Bad centering on that one. Me, Matt Young, George Wright, Vandenberg, Terry Poole, Salvi Terra, Jeff Reardon. Famer again, bad centering. 
Cruz, Mookie Wilson, Jerry Royce, Billy Allman, Bruce Suter. Again, centering off just a tad. Uh, the corners look good. The chipping is fairly non-existent. So that's good. Plus one more of the three. Okay. Slide that that way. Cut it from this side and not cut the cards. Last one. Let's see who we get. Spilner, Bob Welch, Tom Hume, Pete Rose, Record Breaker. Off top to bottom. Razor sharp edges, razor sharp corners. Nice little Pete Rose. Jimmy Walker, Roy Lee Jackson, Motley Fool, Fight of Blue. Famer. Let's see how this one looks. Centering is nice. Centering is really nice. Let's see. Uh, surface doesn't look too bad. I see just a little ding in the corner. The top corner here. And what I see. Maybe not. Pretty nice card. It's got good appeal. I still see that just that little mark there. Another Jeff Reard, and this time it's a NL All Star. Nice off top to bottom though. Jay Tibbs, Dion James, Tim Wallach All Star Expos, Greg Booker, Rod Scurry, and a Dave Winfield All Star. And that's it. That's it for the break. That'll do it for the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. See ya.